What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. Today Google rolled out Android 12 L Beta 2 for Pixel devices. So in this video let's take a quick look on the same. We have managed to install it on OnePlus 7 Pro. If you guys wish to install you can install it on OnePlus 5, 5T, OnePlus 7 series, OnePlus 9 series. I'll leave the installation guide of Android 12 L in the description below. Just follow that video guide and install Android 12 L on any of your OnePlus smartphones. Before starting the video, let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and also we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, so here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro. Let me show you the software information first. Going to about section and here we have flashed the Pixel 3a GSI image on our OnePlus 7 Pro. The same GSI can be installed on any Android device if you are aware about the installation process. If you take a look at the Android version, it says Android 12. We get the security patch of 5th Jan 2022. And if you guys aren't aware about what's Android 12L, so it's a pixel drop feature for devices with larger screen. With Android 12L, Google have polished the system UI for larger screens and also made multitasking more powerful. So these are the benchmark results after installing Android 12 L Beta 2 with single core device has scored 706 and with multi core device has scored 2213. With Android 2 benchmark application, my OnePlus 7 Pro has scored 5,38,221. Also, I won't recommend you guys to use GSI images on your primary phone, but still if you guys want to try out, you can go ahead and flash the latest GSI on any of the smartphone. But I won't be recommending if you are trying to use it as a daily driver. You'll find lot many things broken on GSI images, though there are workarounds to make most of the things working on GSI images, for that you need to root your device. And you should also have proper knowledge about the Android stuff. With the first update itself, we got to see many new add-ons with the new Android 12L. And one of them was this thing, whenever you long press on the home screen, now wallpaper and style section is more convenient, wherein you can directly select the wallpapers instead of going inside the menu of wallpapers and style section. Though on the previous build, this used to crash whenever we used to change the wallpaper, but that's not the case right now. As you can see here, you can easily switch between wallpapers on your device without going inside the main menu of wallpapers and style section. There are other for minor changes, like for example, if you are in the quick setting tile and if you tap on this internet tile, you get a pop-up menu instead of directly moving inside the settings. So from here, you can turn off your mobile data or switch between different Wi-Fi networks. And it's not only limited to Wi-Fi toggle, same goes with other tiles. For example, if you tap on screen recorder, as you can see, we get a pop-up here and you'll also see a pop-up soon you tap on the user icon in the quick setting panel. So these are some of the minor changes done with 12L. And another change what you guys gonna see with Android 12L is related to multitasking. So if you open recents panel, long press on this icon. Now here you can see instead of split windows, we get a tab which says split top and tapping on it. After that, let's select the second application. And this is the new multi windows mode. And if you take a look at these corners, now we have rounded corners on this latest build of Android 12 L. And another good thing here, if you swipe again the recents panel, these two applications remains as it is in the recents panel. So if you just go to some other application, for example, let's open up Geekbench application. And if I again go back to the recents and open the same tab. So instead of again opening the multi window, we can still have the access to both these windows or both the tabs. And later you can adjust the size as per your requirements. And another thing what's new on this 12 L beta 2 is when you are watching any video. So for example, let's open up one video. If you're watching any video in the PIP mode and you have any application running in the background, soon you tap the picture in picture mode, you get a new icon here. And tapping on that will open up that video in split screen mode. That's again a good add on to Android 12 L. On Android 12 L beta 2, we have this new option to disable double line clock. So right now on the lock screen, you can see we have the double line clock. If you go to lock screen settings in the display section, from here you can disable this feature. So once you disable it on the lock screen, you'll get rid of that double line clock if you don't find it useful or like if it's covering the wallpaper of your device. You still have the option to switch between the smaller clock and the double line clock. Then later Google have done some minor fixes. First one is they have made proper alignment of clock on the lock screen. 
they have also fixed the smaller icons on the lock screen and again the last fix is related to the recent panel wherein google have fixed the issue while using gestures to switch between different applications few users must have reported that app sometimes left an image of previous application so that has been taken care by google and now i don't see any kind of issues on this new build of android 12l and if you're trying to use the gsi images on your device there are possibilities your device won't be certified and if that's the case then the device will also not pass the safety net check that means you won't be able to use the payment services on most of the devices while using gsi images you won't have working fingerprint scanner and bluetooth is also a major issue but as said there are workarounds to fix those things but you must be aware about the routing stuff and more in depth knowledge about fixing issues on android phones so guys this was a quick look on android 12 well beta 2 which i have recently flashed on my oneplus 7 pro if you still have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video